Hi guys, um, it's me, Stephen Ranson. Today, um, I've just got something in the uh, post today, and um, this is my uh, Puppet Master Pinhead figure. And um, if you don't know the Puppet Master series, it's uh, um, a, f a bunch of films about um, some evil puppets that come to life by a guy called An Andre Toulon. And um, I, I really like the f the movies, and uh, I really like the figures that they made and uh, this is the gold edition variant so you can get pinhead in different, in different kinds of jumpers like you can get one in red and one in blue and one in black but I like the gold edition the best and also nobody has ever reviewed this so um, pinhead is actually my favourite puppet and he's the uh, brawn of the group meaning he's the strongest because he's got such a tiny head but a really big body and this figure comes with barbells which 2000 LBS and uh, yeah we'll look at the back the package here's some of the other figures you can get this is our main man pinhead I think this is picture from the film that's leech woman who who spits out leeches pretty gross these are the other figures we have Obviously, the, these are pictures of the characters from the films. There's Torch, Jester, which I already have, and I'll show you in a size comparison. Decapitron. Um, I don't know who that is. It's probably from another Full Moon movie. And those guys as well, as well as the Blood Dolls. And there's Blade, Tunnler, Six Shooter, who I also really like, and uh, the Totem. Now, over here, we can see some things as... Press button on Pinhead's back and watch his head pop up and he can and barbells fit in Pinhead's hands. So that's Pinhead. If you're brave enough, you can go on the website and all that. I don't know if it exists anymore, but whatever. So um I'll I will see you again guys. Um and we will right, guys, this is the uh the actual figure and it is uh, very nicely sculpted. This is um just like, sorry about my shadow there, but this, just like the other Puppet Master figures, this is actually real, real cloth. Like a real jumper here. And it's, um, well, in real life it's a very sandy colour, and I know many pictures make it look gold. But yeah, it's very goldy and sandy coloured. It isn't like bright yellow. But it's still really good. And, uh, his face, I think his name in the movie was Herman Strauss the soul but he looks he looks exactly like the one in the movie and it's very hard to do with it because he's got such a small head and his art his hands are pretty big and he's got a uh, weird two-tone shoes as well for some reason and uh, the articulation is uh, just put him down for a second he has he can move his head he can move his hands all the way round and uh, just a point here, um, when I when I got him out, his hands were really stiff and they wouldn't move. So when I turned them around, there was like a very crack, you know, loud cracking sound. And I was actually scared that I broke it, but he's actually better now. It's nice and loose. His hands are much looser now. And uh, so yeah, uh, he his arms can go up all the way. His arms can go up over his head. He's got a uh, hinge here as well as the other one and uh he's got a um movement in the waist as well and he's got uh, knee joints and that's all of his articulation and the figure is actually pretty heavy because pinhead's a pretty big guy and the accessory comes with his uh these weights that i showed you but uh like in the packaging uh you can uh, take them off and um he will hold them but i can't show you it now mum it's on the bed so uh so yeah but he does actually hold it and as seen on the packaging so um very i really like these and i like how they say two thousand two thousand pounds on them like that's really he heavy like just a question guys why does it say lbs i know it's pounds but i have no idea why there's an l in it but whatever but that's pretty damn heavy and his action feature is he has a button in the back oh, damn shadows but anyway there's a button in the back and what he can do is ping and you can do it again 
Bing. You can do it as many times as you want. Yeah, so... I don't know if he actually did that in the movie. I think he did. Uh, I can't exactly remember. But it is a very cool action feature. And uh, I don't know if I... I mentioned before... But I have these two figures. These are the only other Puppet Master figures I have. I have a... Uh, Jester and Mephisto, or Mephisto. Here's the size comparison. As we can see, uh, Jester is very tall and thin, and Mephisto is about the same the same size, but he isn't as bulky. Well, he's got the same height. And uh, I, I won't do a review on this guy, because one, I lost the packaging, and two, uh, I lost the scepter as well. But basically, he has a dial on the back, and his head spins, yeah, but I have him, and this is Mephisto, who I got loose as well. I got loose. He doesn't really do anything, but he's got the same head and body as a Blade, who's also another awesome figure. But yeah, that was my review of uh, Pinhead Gold Edition, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, I will get more Puppet Master figures in the future, and I really think you should check out the movies. Well, definitely check out Puppet Masters 1 to 5. The ones after that were very mediocre to awful. Curse of the Puppet Master. Oh, God. <laughs> well, anyway, and goodbye. I've got a pinhead.